Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Fringe activities continue to set the tone for St. Lucia Jazz in collaboration with Jazz at Lincoln Center. Scores of visitors and locals alike are enjoying the buzz with local artists such as Diana Phillip and Extra Love and Friends and Yolanda Brown from the UK who performed at the Rudy John Beach Park in Labrie. A media briefing to announce that the Caribbean Development Bank funded gender mainstreaming project gets on stream with the signing of the consultancy contract by Niagara College. Niagara College emerged successful from three proposals considered from the shortlisted firms for this consultancy. The Central Traders Board approved the selection of Niagara College to undertake the project last week, which aims to enhance the capacity of the Government of St. Lucia to systematically address gender equality priorities in their planning and programming processes. A team of experts will be in St. Lucia for their inception mission from May 6th to 10th 2019 and will engage in training exercises for officers of the Department of Gender Relations and Public Servants in various ministries, departments and agencies on gender analysis and gender inclusion in development planning. The Department of Health and Wellness confirms the departure of a cruise ship which contained a confirmed case of measles. The ship departed on the night of May 2, 2019 for its home port in the Dutch Caribbean. Given the highly infectious nature of missiles, along with the possibility that other persons on board the vessel may have been in contact with and are now possibly infectious due to this disease, a decision was made not to allow persons to disembark. This decision to quarantine the ship is in keeping with the health laws of St. Lucia. Notwithstanding the ship's departure, the Department of Health and Wellness continues surveillance and close monitoring of local officers who may have boarded the ship during interventions whilst in port. This has been your Media News Brief. Thank you for watching.